God bless you. My name is Elder Ernest Dunn, and this is Decision Time. I am delighted to be able to introduce today's message. Think about what 2016 did to you, its effect on you. Maybe perhaps you're sitting there saying, there's nothing within me to move forward. I have no strength. I have no focus. I have no vision. I have nothing to look forward to. But there is hope. And as a matter of fact, that's a part of today's message. What God has already done gives us hope. You are sure to enjoy this. Don't change that doubt, whatever you do. Decision time is up next. So my subject today is what God has already done gives us hope. The president say what we, that's what I'm trying to get you out of. What we, what I, you know, I realize you can do it, but you got to do it through Christ. So therefore, I, I, I altered that just a little and say what God has already done. See, see, it, 2016 is behind me. It's gone. But what was done is done. And now I have a race set before me. Therefore, what God has already done is enough for us to skip, enough for us to hop, enough for us to talk about it, enough for us to live it. What God have already done gives us, and then you can bring it personally, give me hope for the future. I'm so, I'm so glad I heard. I wasn't back there, but I heard what Bishop say. He's ready to take that mountain. Now, even a mountain climber, he carries supporters. <laughs> it's all right. Some like to travel along, but you find very few. There'll be one or two taking a mountain. This year, our leader said, take that mountain. But here, we must have hope. Whether you know it or not, some of you sitting here looking at me, so some, for some reason, you have been distracted, and you really don't have hope. Out of all God done for you, you still don't have hope. Now, Proverbs 18 and 21, we got to watch what we say. Death and life are in the power of of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Now, if you talk defeat, I'm here to tell you, you're not going to have no fruit. Let me, let me, let me, let me share, let me, let me go to the scripture here that's supporting my topic today. The definition about hope, it said, it gives you a feeling. <laughs> it gives you a feeling of expectation and desire for a certain thing. If you don't have hope today, you need to get it. But I believe you have it because it said it, hope is a feeling 
of expectation. Most people can't have an expectation unless they have experience and know that there's going to be better days. The psalmist say, look where he brought me from. He took me out of darkness and brought me to the marvelous light. It say, when I look back over my life, can anybody take a look? You don't have to look back. You can look at me and yet look back over your life to see where God has brought you from. That's enough right there to get some hope. That sum is he was testifying. Say, when I look back over my life and think, <laughs> oh my God, things over. See, see, something you got to say it from your experience. You got to talk positive. He said, when I look back over my life and think things over, I can surely say, y'all want to help me with that? That what? I've been blessed. Come on, say it with me again. That is hope. Oh, for the future. The scripture, Romans 8, 24. Uh, uh, 8, 24, and 25. It tells you that for we are saved by hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. Woo. That means you got to move when you don't see it. Because I have hope. For what a man see it, why do you hope for? I, I wish I had some money and got $100,000 in your 401k. I wish, but I have, wish I had some money. I, 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 I'm broke because you don't stop carrying cash in your pocket. You got that little thing, what you call debit card or credit card. But don't use the credit card. Because the debit card takes out what's there. Can y'all catch me? If it ain't there, you can't get it. That's a debit card. Don't go tell Deacon Harding because he's not here today that I told you to use a credit card. I said use your debit card. And there is a difference. <laughs> Ooh, glory, hallelujah. The 25th verse of the 8th chapter, Romans say, but if we have hope, <laughs> oh my God, for what we see not, oh Jesus, now faith is the substance of things and the evidence, I don't have it, I don't see it. But there's some evidence from the past. Oh, Jesus. Where God going to take you this year, it ain't because you got it. It's because you got to get it by faith. From prior experience, because you know if you walk into the door and the door not open, you know by the time you get to the door, the door will be open. This year is not a Jack and Jill year. This year is standing sure of your calling. Now, Romans 5 and 5 says, and hope, <laughs> 
makes not ashamed. My God, my God. Five and five. Why, why is not going to make you ashamed? For hope is not, and hope make it not ashamed because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto you. This year going to determine whether you have it or don't have it. You can keep on talking to me about hope, 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 hope. I have it, I have it. But here, 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 I'm, I'm going to use this analogy. When I was coming up, I, haven't, I didn't have all the things that some of you might have experienced that you had. I was a real, real country boy. Not by choice. A real country boy. It's because that's way it was given to me, God. Now, I realized that I had a car. I won't even tell you what, what kind I had, but it needed some help. I can remember, remember one time that I was able to fill that car up with petrol. One time. But God allowed me to drive, pick up the saints here, pick up the saints here, pick up the people here. And it got to the point that I was still driving, but it was on empty. And when I pulled up to the gas station, I had hope. When I pulled up to, to the gas station, you all might have never experienced this. And I took the, untwist the gas top, and it just flew out on me. The, the preservative was God. I was really empty. But it was contained, the pressure. And we need to get something in us that will contain us until we get to the gas station. I had hope and expectations, but it didn't happen. There had been time when I put certain one out the car and left, and, and by the time I got home, I... <laughs> See, y'all don't, don't recognize those signs. But the car was, it was, it was jerking. Wasn't no need, need me looking at the battery. Wasn't no need of me calling and saying the spark plug. I got a problem with the spark plug. All I had to do is look at the, the gas tank. And I knew what the problem. But I, I, I want to help you here right now. I want to help some of you right now. See, there's a thing when we run out of gas, we have a tendency, and some of you are looking at me right now. Y'all have run out of gas before. But you, I ain't going to ask you to raise your hand. But you got there, and when you knew you was out of gas. See, we don't have the cars nowadays. We have to lift the hood and pull gas in the carburetor and prime, prime them, right? We, you can't do that today. So my question to you, why are you getting out the car and lifting the hood as if something wrong with the engine? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. When you know you're empty. And, 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 and and, and somebody passed by you and say, eh, what's wrong? Nothing. Everything okay. You got the hood up. First of all, you're embarrassed because you ran out of gas. But you got the hood up like some major thing wrong. 
and you, you, you've called brother, and you've called daddy, and called mama, and all of them at work, it's 12 o'clock in the day, and no, they don't get off to 3 o'clock. And this person drove by you. Matter of fact, there were two or three people drove by and asked, can I help you? But you had the audacity with yourself waiting on mama, knowing that two or three hours ago, you could have been on your way. But you waiting because you don't want to reveal the truth. That was a story that used to come on the television to say, to tell the truth. See, I don't know if y'all remember that. But, but to tell the truth. God can't use us if we don't tell the truth. But I can tell you, there is hope. There is hope. In this desire and expectation, oh God, help me here. Uh, 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 I, I was not adopted. Anybody know what adoption is? Anybody in the house have ever adopted a child? Have anybody? Maybe we don't have anyone here. But adoption takes on certain people giving up certain what? That's what adoption is. Well, let me tell you my story. See, I wasn't adopted, but God made provision because there was what you call a foster parent. See, see, adoption is clear that in order to adopt, somebody got to give up some rights in order for you to get full custody. But when I considered myself adopted without rights, so the description definition of adopted without rights was foster parents. Now, some of you don't know anything about that. Some of you are too young, and some of you older ones know what foster parents does. The foster parent that, that took care of me, they was not given the right, but I had all privileges. I had all things necessary for me with that foster parents. The medical bill, they had to pay for the medical bill. The food, they had to pay for it. Adoption, you get certain assistance if you choose to adopt. But foster parents takes it all the heavy load. Now, I realize that I thank God for adoption because I was adopted into the royal family. But I considered myself as adopted by the foster parents because there was no biological, there was no natural link between me and my fan, foster parents there was no biological anything by blood, but they took care of all the responsibility. Now, to you got to this year have a hope that, Lord, I, I, I want to, to be used for your glory. And you got to focus on that. I, 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 Lord, I want you to save those in my family. See, see, some of them have unsaved loved ones. But I don't know about you, I have hope. <laughs> I have an expectation. 
along with my desire. And that hope within me, it, it, uh, 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 some is, is, is God, I, I, I want you to, to help me to deliver when, when, when there's relatives or when there's a, a, a person that has a problem of depression, oppression, you know, anxiety, all that. I, I want to have the hope that when, when, when I speak the word, you told me to speak the word. I want to see results of speaking the word. And you got to have hope. I, 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 you you got to be like this. You got to, you got to, Lord, I have hope that you give me wisdom how to handle this new position that I'm getting. Ain't nobody said nothing about new position. You, you better try to work in there what you, what you have. But, but, but I, I, God have told you, uh, don't, don't worry about it. That position is yours. You, you, you want God to give you the wisdom how to handle that, 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 that new position I'm getting ready to give you. You got to have hope. You got to, but, but what you got to do, you got to, you got to, be, you got to stay steadfast in that what I have given you. You have hope to. Knowing that I already got the position. No. Uh, I know you're saying I, I don't have it yet. But I desire it. And my expectation is going to happen. You, 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 you got you to gotta say at the psalm is to say. And God, and through the word, as Psalm the 37 and 4, it said, delight yourself also in the Lord. And what he's going to do? He will give you the desires of your heart because you have hope. You don't see it, but you know it there. Say, uh, somebody, somebody come along, you, you don't try to discourage you now. Well, well, you don't, you don't know. You, well, you, if, if you would be the one they chose. And, 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 and while uh, you can come back to them and say, well, 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 I heard the word saying for listen, four and six. It say, be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication. Now, if it had been me, but it wasn't me, but Paul, he, 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 he didn't put a comma there to pause, but it had it been me, he, I would have put a comma there and, and then put with thanksgiving. See, see, you got to know that you have hope and, and it's I'm going to get it because I, I, I prayed and, and I've gone before the Lord and now I'm praising him for it. The psalm say, don't wait to the battle. What are you going to do? You're going to shout now. This year you got to shout before it happened. You got to praise him before it happened. Because I already got it. And why are they telling you it ain't going to happen. All of a sudden, the telephone ring. <laughs> what? Because you had hope. Because you're waiting. The telephone rung and say, Miss Johnson? <laughs> all of a sudden, they're telling you, you well, well, you don't know. There's all kind of folks put in for this position. But the telephone rung. And they say, brother, Sister Priscilla? Is this you? Y yes, sir, this me. It's like we were just fumbling through these files. Woo. We didn't go through but 50, but some kind of way. Woo. Your file st stuck. Your file stuck on my finger. Out of that other 50, and we just looking here. Woo! Glory, I have hope. <laughs> that 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 job, and now it's been so long. <laughs> you winning within yourself. What job? That job you put in for. Woo! Have just come up. 
See, see, God is praying for you, and, and, and he's saying uh, uh, you must have hope. You must have some expectation. You, you, you got to know that you know that you know. Uh, 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 even when I, I've heard a lot of things, but uh, when you are adopted or when you under foster care protection and they give you everything, I know that, and I've heard, and I know about unplanned pregnancy. Don't nobody know about that in here, but uh, I know, somebody say he know, <laughs> about unplanned pregnancies, but I never heard anything of unplanned adoption. <laughs> you, 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 just, you just can't just go adopt a child. It's got to be a plan. And if you are in the adopted family, that was a plan. Before the foundation of the world, for you to be where you are in 2017. I'm saying today, what God has already done for us, for me, hope, there is hope for the future. Well, once again, I would like to thank you for tuning in to Decision Time. We are so appreciative of your continuous support of our television and radio broadcasts. I am convinced that by hearing this message, you know of a certainty that we have hope. Listen, I would like for you to view us on YouTube. Go to our Facebook page, our website, www.israelitekojic.org, and we will be back next week, this same time, this same station. But until then, in the words of our pastor, the Bishop Roosevelt Dunn, remember, you have a miracle in your mouth.